since it is critical to get your parts on your machine as quickly and as safely as possible, once again Autodesk PowerMill has received some significant performance improvements in the 2021.1 release to reduce the time it takes to display colliding toolpath sections. This has been achieved through the rebuilding of the colliding sections identification code, which now utilizes multiple CPU threads to help rapidly draw colliding sections. In this example, we have a tall die component with a deep cavity. The size of the die measures 510 millimeters in X by 1,126 millimeters in Y by 426 millimeters in Z. There is just a single steep and shallow toolpath in our setup. We will be making a side-by-side -side comparison between PowerMill 2021.1 and PowerMill 2021.0. In this instance, both versions have been run independently on the same Lenovo ThinkPad P71 workstation laptop, which has a quad-core Intel Xeon E3 processor, 64GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA Quadro P4000 graphics card. When calculating a toolpath, Paramil gives you the option to automatically detect and avoid collisions if you wish, or take a more flexible approach, giving you the option to reveal any problematic areas and letting you decide how you want to tackle those regions. This means you can perform your choice of localized edits, such as using the dynamic machine control, or tool edits such as increasing overhang or replacing the tool. Let's compare the performance of both versions of PowerMill. Version 2021.0 is on the left, and version 2021.1 is on the right. In this instance, we want to machine as much of this part in three axes as we can. So we have selected an initial tool choice to see if we can get away with a shorter tool length, but we have not yet checked for collisions. In both cases, we are going to go to the Toolpath tab and select the option to draw the colliding sections. As soon as we click the button, you will see that PowerMill 2021.1 identifies the colliding sections much quicker than PowerMill 2021.0. PowerMill 2021.1 identifies the colliding sections in just 10 seconds, whereas PowerMill 2021.0 takes a further 15 seconds. This represents a 60% improvement in calculation time. The real benefit comes from the iteration of part programming, where we might want to experiment with some possible options. In this case, we want to try the same tool, but with the longest holder we have to see if this will work. First, we will activate our tool with the extra long holder assembly. Keeping the colliding sections drawn, we will right click on the toolpath and from the Edit submenu, choose the Replace Tool option. As soon as the option is selected, PowerMill will automatically update the colliding sections. Note again that PowerMill 2021.1 identifies the colliding sections much quicker than PowerMill 2021.0 displaying the updated collisions in just four seconds, with PowerMill 2021.0 taking a further nine seconds, showing a 69% improvement in calculation time. Summarizing this example, we can see that overall we save 63% of our total programming time in just these two processes. Whilst on this occasion, even our longest tool holder is not enough to cut this part, so we must look to utilizing five axes, but with the reduction in colliding section drawing time, any further iterations in our programming will help us get this part on our machine sooner and more importantly, safely.